Okay, so we're here with a uh, 98 on the record. You will have this problem with 98 all the way up to 2002. And um, plus the light goes out. So someone did the jumper, as you can see right there, because the multiplex here blew out. Fuse is working okay and everything, but the issue is the safety neutral switch part since everything's controlled by the computer this right here should be lit so i'm going to add a ground you're going to see the light come on and this is me adding a, light, a ground and you see the p light see the p light come on p light went off on off and just so that you can see the light tester coming on and off so as i play with it the p light is dancing with it so whoever jumped it jumped it putting too much power into the unit or the multiplexer finally blew out on the uh shorted the ground side out and the car doesn't have grounds on this side and just so that you can confirm it i am gonna go and touch the black and silver wire and you can see right there let me get the autofocus to zoom in okay i'm on the negative i'm not on the positive and light has to run okay so as you can see i'm gonna let go light went off light went on and that's the ground issue okay so the ground over here is a hot lead. Um, so that way you guys can see, I removed the jumper off of it. You got a hot lead at the, sorry. Oh, sorry, um, this is too long. But you got a hot lead, as you can see the light right there. This is the positive. This is hooked on the red one. And then now I'm going to go on the black one. And as you can see, I'm on the black and it's positive. So there's the ground issue. And I will start with the multiplexer. This is why we don't do the cheap fix with a paper clip jumping the wire. I can understand an emergency situation. Yeah, you can jump it. But um, this is what it causes. So either the customer is going to need a new cluster. Um, to replace it because you get no dash light and just so that you guys can see this is one of the light bulbs things right here and um, you should see the lead right there it's hot as you can see i'm twisting the other lead right here and that's how, as, as, as I flicker. You can see the reflection bouncing off my skin. So you got two hot lead, hot here and hot here. So you can see hot and hot. So they blew the cluster out on the negative side. So you're going to have to figure out a way to chase the lead down. But I will start with the multiplexer first before... I fiddled around with this. Uh, for any technician out there, this is why we, real technician, will go and fix the multiplexer. Um, even if we have to go to the scrapyard and get it. What's $2 and five figure discount um, for those who want to do it that way? Or what's $2 and maybe $45 for the multiplexer? And this is a pick and pull. I don't know what prices your salvage yard, you know, will charge you. For those who know what a multiplexer is, they may charge you an arm and a leg. For those who don't, which the young and dumb, you know, and no offense to the young ones out there, will charge you nothing but pennies. So fix the multiplexer first. Get that straightened out before you go and you jump the wire here, causing more damage to more critical components. Because remember... Multiplexer controls not only the dash light, but it also controls the uh, transmission, which is your shift points. 
And again, if anyone had a uh, P700 code, that means that your transmission will automatically shift in all the gears. That means all the gears are moving. You will not get a check engine light on this part. Why? Because your transmission is on a different lobe. Only those with the Honda dealership or snap-on scan tools or high-end scan tools will be able to find out transmission codes. But for the regular uh, hand readers, uh, code readers, no. So repair the job properly, do the job properly, and save yourself a lot of headache. Uh, for the nickel and dime, you know, for the 10 cents repair or the penny repair, well, this is the problem that it causes. Any questions, leave a description down there, and I will take any challenge from any technician telling me that I'm wrong. I'm showing you exactly what's going on right here. Um, this is for any technician or any other gearhead out there that, you know, owns a 98 through 2002 Honda that all have these issues. Every car that I open up and I see a jumper, automatically tell the customer, multiplexer. Why? It's a computer. It's a motherboard built on steroids that controls everything. And if you don't understand the electronics, don't mess with it. This is why we technicians get paid big bucks and mechanics get paid a little bit. It's the difference between a tech and a mechanic. It's a parts changer versus a person who diagnoses. So we will go with the multiplexer. And I will start right there with the multiplexer.